Nero of Grupo Levy and Company, who handles restructuring. And Mark, what's your reaction to all the news, but kind of kicking it off with this uh, op-ed piece by David Brooks in the New York Times mm -hmm. today, who says, and since you are a restructuring uh, expert, says restructuring is forever. Restructuring is like what dieting is like for many of us. You think about it every day, you believe it's about to work, but nothing really changes. What do you think? Uh, it's, it's an interesting comment. I, I, uh, I, I think that at the end of the day, uh, whether you're GM or you're another company, you have to have a manageable capital structure in order to operate in any environment, particularly a difficult environment like we're in today. So restructuring, it's an ongoing thing. You have to run your company in a certain way. You have to have a certain amount of debt where it's manageable. You can service that debt. And obviously, uh, you know, GM and Chrysler are both in a position where they're, they're not able to do that. Can they recapture that? You know, I think... I, I think uh, you've got to separate them out. If you look at Chrysler, I think the government made a determination that they cannot be viable as a standalone business. Right. So uh, from what I understand, they've reached an agreement uh, in principle or an outline with Fiat. It makes some sense when you think about it. Uh, Fiat brings some technology uh, for more efficient cars that Chrysler doesn't have. Chrysler can plug into a worldwide distribution platform. And I think there's some guarantees under the deal as it's currently set up that uh, the jobs would stay in the U.S. And, and cars would be built here in the U.S. Right, and for General Motors now, we're thinking about the possibility of a Chapter 11 filing in, yeah. uh, in 30, 60 days, most likely, if, depending on, on what they come up with, of course. Now, the bondholders have been holding out, right? Yep. And uh, the, the unions to some extent as well. Um, how do you see this all playing out? Could they still avoid bankruptcy? Could the bondholders maybe give in? Or do they stand to make more well, to bankruptcy? Okay. Anything's possible. I, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think the federal government at this point thinks it's going to happen. If you look at what they've been doing over the last couple of months, they've given GM the opportunity to try to restructure on their own. But it's very, very complicated. There are a number of constituencies. There's all kinds of competing interests. They just haven't been able to do it. They've made some progress, but they haven't been able What's to do it. What's your mindset if you're a bondholder in General Motors at this point? Well, I, I think it depends when you bought. If you're a par bar bondholder, that's one thing. But if you bought in the secondary market, for you know pennies on the dollar, you, you've got a different different approach. Um, I so think a to lot explain of bond that holders, to people, somebody bought a bought GM bond at thirty cents of the dollar, and they're going to get paid in bankruptcy. Well, know, they, they, they presumably got a claim on the full one dollar, even though they paid thirty cents for right. it. We'll see how we'll see how that comes out. But the point is, from a leverage position or a position of waiting to see and negotiating. They're not. They're not. You know, willing to take the GM stock at this point because they think it's a better deal. If the company ends bankruptcy. up in bankruptcy, right. they think they're going to be in a better position. Well, also with this article today, they said that Joe Biden will be doing uh, car commercials over the next 60 days as we kind of ease into uh, accepting yeah. uh, this fate. I don't know if we're going to see that. Although he's salesman, a well, we used to use the line salesman in chief. Character. I don't know if the vice president would fit into that. <laughs> but we want to actually want to remind you as well, real quick, we're taking emails on Charles with us from Grupo Levy Company. As we said, Mark, it's a perfect guest today because your, your firm really handles a lot of restructurings and what have you, so and deals in, in distressed markets. So, again, let's, let's talk about how this is all going to play out because, as Jenna mentioned, there's no shortage of opinions. You, some people say, all right, they're definitely going into bankruptcy. Others say, oh, this is political and they're going to be able to wiggle their way out of it or whatever the case may be. You think bankruptcy is the only option for, for a GM at this point that's left. I think it's likely that they head into bankruptcy. The, the administration is giving them 60 days and, and is going to provide the financing for those 60 days to, to allow them to operate, to give them one more shot. Yep. Uh, but a lot of things have been lined up which would say that a bankruptcy filing is probably going to happen. Uh, and and we'll, we'll see over the next 60 days whether that in fact occurs. But you saw the announcement uh, yesterday about putting together a fund, an escrow fund for warranty claims so consumers will you know, will we'll continue to buy cars and not yep. worry about their cars and the warranty claims. As a restructuring expert, someone that deals with the industry, would you think it's more challenging to deal, if you were GM, with the bondholders or with the union workers and the unions? Uh, tough one. I think, um, I think they're all very tough. And I think you've got the bondholders, you've got the unions, you've got plant closings, you, you have a uh, franchise to deal with, you have too many brands. There are so many issues to deal with that it's probably easier to put them all in one place and use the bankruptcy tools and the leverage in bankruptcy to work through these issues. To work through them. All right. We also, it's interesting that what is also developing is this, um, from people who are opposed to this, saying that, hey, listen, I hope the financial companies are treated as, as, as tough as the auto companies are. In fact, Jennifer Granholm, the governor of Michigan, has said as much. We can bring up a quote from her and take a look. A bit of tough love she talked about. And, you know, again, and here it is. There's been a lot of... Uh, a different look at those who manufacture than those who make money by flipping paper. I'm hopeful the financial industry gets a, as tough a scrutiny. From your perspective, what's the difference in restructuring a large financial company as opposed to an automotive company? 
Well, they're both very, very complicated, but let, let me take it from a diff different perspective. I can see the frustration. <clears throat> a lot of people today, particularly on Main Street, feel that uh, Wall Street created this problem and that the financial community is being rewarded. We saw this just a couple of weeks ago with the AIG yeah. bonuses. But I think if you look at if you look at GM, the government has actually said they believe that GM can be viable in some form. They say that they can, they will support that. They will give GM uh, either support to do a plan outside of bankruptcy or support them in bankruptcy, most likely debtor in possession financing. And they've done a number of things to actually help the industry over the last. We just talked about about the escrow funds. There's also funding uh, for uh, auto loans uh, and for dealers under the TELF program. Yeah, so they um, want to. And, and keep there's them also going, five billion dollars uh, allotted to uh, help the uh, the supply chain, help the vendors. So, would you rather then? Uh, William McGurn also talked about this in the Wall Street Journal. Would you rather restructure with the government or with the courts if you were GM? Right. Well, I think you want to use the government. R remember, you think that go, would be a better scenario. If you go into here's here's the issue. If you go into a, a restructuring, a formal restructuring, you need debtor in possession financing. To get and they're not going to get it unless the government gives it to them. Who else is going to yeah, give it to them? Nobody's going to. No, no other bank is going to step up. Right. So you need the government support to get you through. At the which process. they'll get, I and mean, the government has said as much. All right, uh, thank you, Mark. We appreciate that. Now, in.